Jenner's going from right to left. Visitors, Louder United. White kits with the red stripes across the chest. They'll be heading from left to right. As we get ourselves underway from Segra Field with Detroit City. You've got to fancy them. You know, desperation, wonderful crowd they yes. have here at Keyworth. We've got every chance. Great opportunity in the box. One on one between the legs. A fantastic finish. Maxi Rodriguez, exactly what Detroit City asked for to open this one. Detroit City creating opportunities, getting ball in the box there. It's a lovely little ball through, as you say, from Ben Morris. Maxi Rodriguez just falling as he hits it, and he manages to put it straight through the legs of Hugo Ferro. Not easy to do when you're falling. Gets it up. Well taken down. Played centrally. Chance now for Loudon to stretch their legs and move forward. Neville on the overlap. Whipped in. Dangerous. Oh, that one taking an awkward bounce. A difficult chance. The first shot by Loudon United to put wide. Got an option to the right. Rodriguez, Morris making a run in the box. He's going to have a shot. It's low. It's parried away. Clarence is further dealt with. It's knocked away. A pair of good choices. Obviously, throw the man who's got the responsibility between the sticks here today. Amu Mensa clattered into a big coming together between him and Morris. It's going to be a free kick. Can we get to Carroll going forward. That one's going to break kindly. What a shot. Oh, just wide in a flash. They went forward. Ben Morris, the right footed volley. Landry wins it high up the field. Two with him. Rolls it off. Leg it. Parried over Steinwasher. Very important save from him. High to the back post. Headed down into the chest of Steinwasher. Bryant with the long throw in. Appeals for handball, but it sits up kindly. And it is a penalty in the end. You go for row, the man between the sticks to try and block it. Rodriguez for the second, buries it. On the doorstep of halftime, Detroit City doubled their lead and put themselves in a great spot to get a vital three points in the playoff picture. To hit Aiden Roach's hand, up steps Maxi Rodriguez for his second, sort of goes down the middle. Rodriguez had two goals entering today. He's got two today. Oh man, that one just put over. Jupe winning that high up the field, trying to get a third. Wouldn't have seen the match out before halftime. That's a poor header, invited a bit of pressure. That's a big call right there. And it's actually going to be a dive going against Loudoun United. A massive call being made. Wesley Leggett is booked for diving. And let's see if the referee's got it spot on. Let's Was see. there any contact at all? Ooh. I don't know. I thought there might have been. They definitely th uh, threw into the playoffs. But the win against Pittsburgh is... <laughs> Easier is, said than done. Yeah, I'm going to say there's not been too many of those this season. Yellow card given to Rodriguez, bringing down Landry. He'll be the first Detroit player to enter the pocket of Jeremy Shear. It's basically a bonus point in a lot of ways, where it's just it's, if, if your goal difference is better than a side or if your head-to-head is better than them, shot towards goal, saved for Rowe. One team who won't be happy about the current win for Detroit City and for Miami is, of course, FC Tulsa. Yep. Sacramento is on the road against Rio Grande Valley as this one is put in the box, headed towards goal. It's kind of header by Bryant. That could be dangerous, but in the end went straight to Steinwasher. Rodriguez plays it back. Bryant. Wanda, great job winning that one back. Through the middle is Williamson. It's played into him one-on-one, -on -one trying to round Steinwasher. He makes the save and lands on it. And Williamson through, tries to go wide. The goalkeeper just stands his ground, puts his foot out, makes himself big. He knows, he knows he's got cover behind him in case he gets chipped. Some games kicking off elsewhere. Blue City taking on Hartford at home. Tampa Bay taking on Pittsburgh. There's been an early goal in that one. Pittsburgh with a 1-0 lead on the road against Tampa Bay. Headed down, out wide, Amu Mensa. Jupe wants it. He's got it. Amu Mensa.
Whipped into the box, dangerous, a brilliant ball in. That's number three. Been a great performance from Detroit City and the third one. Their leading scorer gets a number, number six on the year for Ben Morris. A great run, a great ball, and a great finish. It's 3-0 Detroit. Just whips it in towards that near post, and Ben Morris times his run absolutely perfectly. Bryant, head up here, puts it into that danger area where you've got to ask questions. And Ben Morris, the quickest to respond there, ahead of the centre-backs. We mentioned earlier in the match, this is what he's good at. He's got this blistering pace, but give Michael Bryant credit for a wonderful well, ball. A lot of numbers four for Detroit City. Can they inflict further pain and get a fourth? Tracking back, foul though. Felt that he got the ball, did Neville, and he may have talked himself into a yellow card. Yeah, the goalkeeper's run, you know, 25 yards to confront the referee. That's going to get you a yellow every time. But at 3-0, you fancy even if they've got one back loud and you've still got that two-goal gap. It should, it should be a mopping up job here. Just over 10 minutes to go. Professionally wind the clock down, keep it tight, defend in numbers. And even if they score one, it's really not going to yeah. affect the outcome. Just don't lose your head if you concede one even. They need to yeah. score a bunch to take the result away from you. Of Williams, in the end taken away. Landry, Wua in the box, fires it, finds a teammate, Leggett. His shot's tame and it's caught by Steinwasher, routine, but he's made a number of saves today. Yeah, he's been solid, the goalkeeper at the back there for DCFC. He's got four saves credit, credited to him so far. Four shots on target for Loudoun United. Bit of speed being shown off. Ball aiming for Ryan. Knocked away. Jope able to slide one forward. Seven matches. He'd love to get another one now. Make it two and eight and feel that going into the playoffs, or the fight for the playoffs anyway next weekend, and maybe the playoffs that they're defensively tight. That shot in duck lane. It's stopped. Fifth save of the day. And a strong performance from Nate Steinwasher. Okay. Five minutes of stoppage time. It's brought to you by Novak, delivering power you can count on. Rickick in a yellow card. If we see this yellow here to, to Chris Haygott. A little bit of tugging and pushing and shoving <laughs> and unnecessary. Frustration uh, board. It will indeed be the final one. Three goals to nil, a clean sheet, and it comes down to the final weekend. Can Detroit claw back into the final playoff spot? We will find out next Saturday.